All right, let's finish this thing up. Okay, I, the drying process is done. I'm going to use a little pin like this to do the eyes. Okay. Okay. Come to the center, to the edge here. Make it a little bit bigger. Come to the edge over here. Just like that. We'll make this just a little bit bigger eye right in here. Okay. Now, to really make them come out, we put a little dab of white right beside them to really show the eyes more like that like that. See that? Just like that. That little dab of white is what brings those little eyes out in there. Now, we want to take, we should let these eyes dry, but I'm going to take a little bit of red oxide. I'm just going to add to the uh, Got out of this red oxide. Whew. Getting down to the nitty gritty of it. Got to get me some more. I'm going to use a small brush and you want to water this down because this is going to go on the face. I'm going to water this down and I'm going to use my smaller brush to do it. Put some on the ears. Give that flush look to the face. I'm not going to put it around the eyes because they're still wet. So I'm just going to use it on the face a little bit. Water it down quite a bit. And then if you have to, you know, if you have to put some more to, to then do that. But don't put too much red. You want it just enough to, uh, Give it that look. Okay. And the antiquing solution will take care of the rest. As we do this, let me hit this area up here by the eye. I get I'm getting awful close. 
And uh, so, I'm gonna go get a, a We'll get a little stand for him. I buy, I buy, I buy these little uh, at Hobby Lobby. Just place him on the little stand right there. And I'm gonna take a little glue on the bottom of the shoes. Place him center wise. Put a little bit more glue. I usually hit them pretty heavy just so it will stick good. And I have to let this dry because uh, when I do the antiquing. If you do not let the glue dry, it will come off of it. In other words, you've got to let it, it dry good. And uh, let me bring you forward. And there is our little character as it is, it is painted, in other words. And I'll show you the antiquing solution. And I will also show you the, uh, basically the, uh, the way I do it. Uh, I'm actually using an antiquing solution now of, of uh, actually using a, uh, uh, a stain itself to help uh, do what I want to do. To, and as you see, the colors are not very vibrant right now, but when I get through antiquing him, they will be much more uh, colorful in such a way because it will darken those areas that I need. So right now, uh, I'm going to get through with this, let him dry, and then I'll show you the antiquing solution and we'll become the finishing process of all of this. This is just, all oh, this is white Gorilla Glue is all it is. Uh, this is, now, uh, regular Gorilla Glue, this is the white kind, this is, but the regular gl Gorilla Glue, uh, you gotta be careful with it. It's, it's good stuff, but it's also it expands. Now, this doesn't expand. This is just like a white Elmer's Glue or something like that. But uh, I don't know if I would use, it's polyurethane glue and it expands whenever you do it. So, so you want to be careful not to put too much. But this is just the white glue, like a, an Elmer's or a wood glue or whatever it is, tie bond or whatever uh, you would use to just get that. So I'm going to let it, um, I'm going to let it dry and I'll do the antiquing solution and we'll have, uh, we'll have it done. Okay? Alright, God bless you now.